me okay? I remember like when we were at the hospital, like very clearly. We waited there for a while. And then my dad came out and he was like, your brother's here. I got to see him from the class. I remember seeing other kids that were Tor's age and they were like crawling and walking. And I was like, so when is Tor gonna start walking and talking? They're like, probably you won't be able to walk and talk. I must have been at around like four or five years old when I realized that things were a little different. And down we go. Name is Stefan Alexis, 24 years old. This is a team effort. There we go. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> I'm a young caregiver. I take care of my younger sibling, Torrance. He's 21 years old and he has cerebral palsy. He's not verbal. Um, he doesn't really have any balance. He's completely dependent. You wanna go to bed? You wanna go to bed? It's not an easy job. He, he needs, like, he needs you for everything. So you have to be taking care of him 24-7. I think Tor sees the world simpler than, than we see it. So I feel like he appreciates the things that we take for granted. We think he sees the world in lights and shapes. Okay, buddy. A year ago when Tor turned 21, um, he graduated from high school and all the services stopped. So um, when that happened, uh, we didn't have any uh, support during the day. You're doing well. And anything. all the work kind of fell on my dad. Yeah, he should be hungry though. So that's when I was like, okay, I have to help. Mom's working full time, has her hands full, taking care of the house too. So I'm here. Even though I wasn't like feeling great, it's you make sacrifices for your family. When people think about a caregiver, they generally think about a female. It's a very easy um, assumption to make and a very easy picture to paint. Watching my dad taking care of Tor um, has impacted me in a pretty significant way because he's shown me the other side of masculinity. He teaches me how you're supposed to be attentive to certain things and how you're supposed to like take care of your family. So I'm picking up, okay, passata sauce, pepperoni, spinach, eggs. I'll be back. When you're taking care of a family member, the house revolves around that family member. So you kind of have to coordinate who's going to stay and who's going to go out because everything is, it's like an orchestra. So you have to kind of get everything in a certain balance. Time to go to bed, Torrance. Go on, sweetheart. Turn around. There's so many little intricate details that go not into like just everyday life but into a life where you're taking care of someone else. Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. We 
love Tora to death. We love him unconditionally. We, we would do anything for him, of course, but any kind of long, continuous strain has an impact on you mentally. My friends are aiming towards like their career and they're chasing like their dreams and all that. Having to put my goals and aspirations on the back burner can be really frustrating. I can't do this forever. Um, and um, it's a tough, it's a tough place to be in because like what do I, do I pay, like how do I choose? <laughs> what will happen like if I'm not there to kind of relieve the pressure. Everyone's getting older and the needs are going up and it's kind of, it's breaking the balance. He just had a really bad seizure. You did? Okay. Let me come and give you a hand. If I can't be here like physically to help, I need to find another way to help out. It's easy ignoring these people because there's no voice. Because the people that have the voice are too tired to like raise their voices. They're already exhausted from the day to day and they don't have the energy to go out and protest. Mm. Yes. And try and like fight the government and like lobby and do all this crazy stuff because like the day to day never really stops. You don't have the energy because you're just trying to make it day to day.